What are some awful things from the 70s, 80s, and 90s everyone seems to not talk about? Everywhere you went you came home with clothes reeking of smoke. My grandfather's mustache was yellow from smoking. Also, women had to endure incredible sexism everywhere. Pol Pot's Khmer Rouge killing fields in Cambodia. 30% of people were tortured to death and killed with medieval weapons. Absolutely horrific. Someone I know visited the killing fields. They had a tree where they smashed babies against. Chang Kiri tree. Well, that's the worst thing ever. Somehow the short, matter-of-fact Wikipedia article makes it more disturbing. The troubles in Ireland are rarely talked about. Ireland was basically a war zone in some parts for quite a while. I remember first hearing about the troubles in a movie, and I was like that's a funny name for a World War II battle then someone was kind enough to point out that it was still going on mid-90s. Then it was more like that's a really dismissive name for a 30-year civil war. The thalidomide disaster is one of the darkest episodes in pharmaceutical research history. The drug was marketed as a mild sleeping pill safe even for pregnant women. However, it caused thousands of babies worldwide to be born with malformed limbs. The motherfucking phone company. There was ONE phone company, AT&T, for the whole goddamned country. Calling the next city was long distance. Calling the next state or another country was also a really big deal. It was totally common to spend hours at home waiting for an important phone call, since there were no mobile phones at decent prices until the 1990s. Often, when you called, you'd get a busy signal, so if an important call might come, nobody was allowed to use the phone. When MCI broke into the long-distance market it started the revolution that led to the relative nirvana we live in today, as far as phones are concerned. The phone companies are doing their best to turn it back into a monopoly. We must never go back. I lived in Japan, still do, and Japan was even worse. You actually had to purchase the right to a telephone, like a deed, which was like $700. You couldn't sell it back to the phone company, but you could sell it to someone else, so they could get a phone. What a scam. The Bosnian Civil War Conflict in the Balkans. Even the Rwandan genocide doesn't get mentioned very often today, though people still remember it happened. A lot of people don't remember that NATO was bombing Kosovo when Harris and Klebold shot up Columbine. I've never met an American my age, 20s, who was taught about any armed conflict or genocide in the 90s as part of the standard state, public school, curriculum. The stuff that happened when we were children. We stopped at the civil rights movement and Vietnam. I don't think our textbooks were new enough, 15 years old, to contain the info either. So that might be part of the reason. In the UK there seemed to be dog shit everywhere, the type that turned white and could cause blindness if kids picked it up. IIRC the whiteness was caused by all the bone meal that used to be in it. But yeah I remember how nobody scooped poop when I was a kid. Dog shit in your yard, your dog shit in theirs. Of course I might have just been an ignorant trash ball. Marital rape was not a crime in the UK or USA until the early 1990s. Famously, in 1993 Justice Bolan, a judge in the Supreme Court of South Australia, told the jury of a marital rape trial that, there is, of course, nothing wrong with a husband, faced with his wife's initial refusal to engage in intercourse, in attempting, in an acceptable way, to persuade her to change her mind, and that may involve a measure of rougher than usual handling. These judges really show what their home life was like. Whenever we see a bald eagle, my dad will often tell me about how he very rarely saw them as a kid and teen because their population was so low. Now I see quite a few each summer when he was lucky to see one a year. I remember when a nesting pair came back to our state, I think I was in third or fourth grade and how big a deal that was. Edit, my memory was a little fuzzy, but I found some relevant articles. State is NJ, and in 1982 a project started to allow the only nesting pair still here to reproduce without assistance, which they had failed to do for the previous six seasons. 
They were finally able to have the pair raise and care for their own eaglet without help in 1989, which is where that memory comes from, I was in first grade. My teacher was extremely excited about it, and I remember her telling everyone about the big news. I spoke to my students today about how lucky they are to be able to stream music as I downloaded 5 MB songs with a 56k modem on Napster. I also boasted that a 30-minute download for one song was considered an extremely fortunate run, and that there was a decent chance your download might not even be the song you wanted. I saw the moment in my students' eyes when I became their equivalent of Grandpa Simpson, I am 34 years old. I downloaded Morrowind over the course of three days. I then burned it on a disc, which took another hour. I was so proud that it worked though. More people died in car accidents before improved safety features, airbags, and stricter traffic laws. From 1979 to 2005, the number of car accident deaths per capita decreased by 35%. So many people didn't wear seatbelts. It just wasn't a thing. AIDS in the 80s and early 90s. I was a little kid during the era, being born in 85, and some of my earliest memories are of people talking about it, and how they didn't care what the TV said, nobody I knew would have touched anything a person with AIDS had also touched. The paranoia was terrifying. I remember meeting one of my mother's friends who had the disease, and he seemed normal. I hugged him and everybody made a big deal about how brave it was for me to do that dot such a dark time. The Rwandan massacre, where during that period, about 12% of the total population of Rwanda was murdered. And the world, on the whole, never even realized what was going on in that country. Plus if we're including the 70s, the Cambodian genocide by the Khmer Rouge is still rather unknown in the US. 25% of the population, dead, and yet Pol Pot lived until 1998. The real, visceral fear of nuclear war, before the Cold War ended. I had such bad anxiety about that as a teenager that it would cause me to throw up. Fuck those days I even remember my uncle who was retired military telling me when I was a kid, this would have been mid-80s, what to watch out for in case of nuke attack. Apparently nuclear attack strategy started out with a high altitude burst over middle America somewhere. He said that if everything suddenly stopped working power out, cars stalled, Digital clocks watches dead then run your ASS OFF to take cover for whatever it would be worth. 